Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, it's Christmas, and in a more overarching way, it's the holidays. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to Carol, to Elizabeth, to Lidza. Lidza? Is that right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm reading Lidza. We'll see how that turns out. Andrada. And Karen. So far, so good. Welcome to the special Christmas edition of Loki Hates You's Mailbox. Hey, Logan. Hope you had a good Christmas. Uh, as my gift to you, I give you this stream and this warm welcome. A true masterpiece of our time. Welcome, Chris. Welcome, Marcy. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Crispy Kwanzaa. I don't know any more ways to say it, but I wish you all of the good fortune and joy and prosperity in the world on this, the 25th of December, 2016. The last gasp of a truly terrible year. Hey, Roberta. Oh, man. So, we got a couple things in the mailbox. I could jump right into that. Uh, it seems like... Hey, Selena. Good to see you. Um, so, yeah, we, well, let's start, let's start looking at what we got in the mailbox. A couple of them aren't, uh, aren't uh, gonna require any real opening. We got a card from from Sherry. She doesn't even really require that her stuff gets shown on the streams, but I like to show them anyways just to show that I'm looking at the P.O. box and things are things are coming in and I see them. I think the last few cards, uh, she sent a couple of postcards like these. This is from Las Vegas. Uh, it's a beautiful sparkly card and uh, I'm not sure if you can see. Sparkles come off um, on, on your fingers and that's that's just great. It's so great that you can send me things that make everything I own have sparkles on it. So thank you, Sherry, for this. I won't read the whole note on the back. It's kind of just, uh, it's meant it's meant to be read by Amada and myself about uh, Sherry's uh, various adventures in Las Vegas. And um, seems like she's having a good time out there, and I love that. So so thank you very much, Sherry, for the lovely card. And I, uh, I hope to see some more coming through that P.O. box. If you got if you got time to uh, drop me a line, we love seeing that kind of thing. Who else haven't we said hi to? Said hi to Roberta and Selena. Hey Nikki, good to see you. Hey Nini. 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 <laughs> um, so I'm here. Uh, I'm actually spending Christmas just chilling out at my place. Uh, Amada is in Indiana visiting her family right now, so um, I'm having a nice quiet, low-key Christmas, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm wearing a lovely... Who sent me the black bathrobe last year? Uh, off my... Off my list, because I'm wearing it. I've been wearing it for the last few days. It's been a little chilly in LA, and I'm also... I believe I'm wearing the socks that um, Lynn sent. So, I got my Jeep, my nice wool Jeep socks on. Um, uh, I got my... Uh, my nice black terry cloth bathrobe and I got I actually have at the ready uh, the homemade scarf who sent me the scarf was it I don't want to name the wrong person but it's a real thick uh, knit scarf <sighs> but I'm having a good time I'm working on some personal projects and then Ahmad is coming home tomorrow night I got all the time in the world to just spread out, watch a couple movies. I don't have to leave the house and go through the traffic. I don't have to try to deal with any stores that are closed. I'm just enjoying myself. So everybody calm down about me not doing some sort of big Christmassy thing. Um, 
Let's see. Hey, Kip. Good to good to see you tuning in. Um, now I can watch you on my phone. This is a new concept for me. Well, Danielle, I'm glad you got your new phone. Congratulations. Hey, Helen. Um, my Sky News app just told me George Michael died. Oh, man. Breaking news. George Michael died. Um, so that hits you pretty hard. George Michael. Wham. I feel like I'm never going to dance again. That's tough. All right. Let's move along from that. That's that's a real bummer. Oh, man. Thank you for... Thank you, Carol, for uh, chiming in with that. I mean, it's tough news, but it's good to know. Um, where's my... Where's my knife? There's my knife. So we got a couple other things, a couple cards from the, the from the PO box. I'm gonna open those up. It's okay, Carol. I mean, I, we appreciate we appreciate you telling us. But yeah, maybe maybe it's fake news. You know what, guys? This is not a news outlet, and I have no journalistic integrity. So uh, perhaps George Michael's fine, and we're all gonna be okay. Hey, Rebecca. Good to see you. So we've got another uh, another card. I'm not gonna show you either side of it because. Uh, the first side has my full name on it, and the second side has the sender's full name and address on it. So I'm just going to not even show it to you. But I will show you what's inside. Looks like it's from Karen. Uh, <laughs> um, so this is from Karen. Uh, Merry Christmas, Rage Responsibly. Not officially sponsored by Jameson Irish Whiskey. Uh, brought to you by Karen Loveless. In a horse... The unicorn mask? Also doing something with a wand and a Chewbacca that may or may not be uh, suitable for children. So that's a pretty cute Christmas card. And on the back it says, Hoping you... Hope you and your fur baby have two... Have a... that The A looks like a two... Have a stellar holiday season from from Karen Loveless. So thank you, Karen, for that. It's a lovely little card you got there with the unicorn. It's like you can just barely see the unicorn shots, but they're in there. Um, yeah, I mean it's a it's a non-traditional holiday card for sure, but it gets the job done and it gets it done well. Oh boy. Okay, so that's from Karen. <laughs> oh man. It's fake. Another celeb death hoax. Okay, Selena's telling us that George Michael is not dead. That's good news. Guys, it's a Christmas miracle. Fake news uh, brings about uh, the realization that you can't believe everything you read on the internet. And that's good. That's a good, that's a good lesson to have. So. Um, what else we got here? This is actually to myself and Steven, but I'll just open it. It's a card. It's a card. I'll tell them if they said hi. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Let's see what we got here. It is a card. It's a penguin card. Straight up penguin. And I love that kind of thing. It is from Tessa. Really? Does that say Tessa? T E Tessa, that can't possibly say Tessa. Okay. I hope you both have an amazing holiday season and an amazing new year. I look forward to meeting you someday. Uh, and then the text on the printed on the card wishes sent for Christmas season sealed with love and warmth that lasts throughout the new year. Merry Christmas. Signed Sarah's Italeve, which means Tessa Thomas in crazy cursive that cannot say Tessa. There's just no way. So thank you, Tessa, for the lovely card. 
Uh, and the penguin. We always love having a penguin. Uh, Transformers Age of Extinction. Was there a Tessa in Transformers? Was that the daughter's name that they like make weird kind of pedophile jokes about? Because that's crazy. Kristen, welcome. Welcome to here where you can apparently be weird about things. That's fine. Welcome to the, the thing. <sighs> Just went looking. Okay. So, let's move on. We've got some stuff from Redbubble. I believe these are from Karen, uh, if I recall correctly. Let's take a look at what came in from Redbubble. Got a nice floppy envelope. A, a flan, flop envelope. Um, let's see what we got here. Guys, tell me what you got for Christmas. Tell me what the best, uh, the the highlight of your gift receiving was uh, today, and we'll talk about it. Did anyone get the NES Classic? Did anyone get the the Furby of 2016? Uh, if so, how's it looking? Does it look good on your TV? Uh, Danielle, I did see Rogue One. I saw it the Thursday. I saw it on the Thursday it came out. I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I'm glad uh, they did such a great job telling a, an untold story from uh, from the Star Wars mythos that we never really got to experience before. Oh, wow. That is crazy. What is this? What symbol is this? Why do I know this symbol? I know this symbol. Is this Omni-Man? What is this symbol? I feel like it's Omni-Man. Okay, so it's a dark blue shirt with a black symbol on it. I think it's the Omni-Man symbol from Invincible. You can just barely, barely see the symbol on there. But if I hold it real close to the camera and I shine the light on it, you can see how it's... If I recall correctly, this is the Omni-Man symbol. That's really cool. I'm like surprised. Oh, I gotta make a decal out of that. That's awesome. Does it have a letter or a thing on it? It's not you, it's a shirt. Weird odor, it's from the process used to print the design. To desmell, wash in cold water and hang dry. Any residue will go away too. Give the shirt the longest, most beautiful life possible. Wash in cold water and hang dry every single time. That's really cool. And let's see what the size is. Yeah, I could deal with a medium. So that's awesome. It's the Viltrumite Empire. And he wears it as an O. That's right. Just as Superman wears the symbol of Krypton um, as, uh, as his symbol. And it looks like an S for Superman. But it actually stands for hope in Krypton. Uh, well, Danielle, you know, everyone's gonna... I have mixed reviews of a movie. Uh, we got another thing from Redbubble, if I recall correctly. It's also from Karen. Karen, that's a very thoughtful gift. To research Invincible to the point where you know uh, what the symbol for the Viltrumite Empire looks like and actually get it printed on a shirt, like, that's awesome. Thank you so much for that. Like, I'm going to wear that and it's going to be so obscure and, like, no one's going to know what the hell's going on except for me. And that'll be a little smug victory for me every single day. Um, he fell asleep twice. Oops, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm ready for every day to be over with, Chris. Honestly, like, I enjoy the time I have on this planet, but at the end of the day, if we end up all dying, well, I can say that if I end up biting it tomorrow, I had a good one, you know? So this year ending is no huge tragedy for me uh it's it's a great what am i looking at oh these are just stickers okay so red bubble sends some nice little stickers with their gifts little red bubble stickers with birds and stuff on them kitties some sort of crazy uh cyclops cat with a floating eye above his head that's that's nuts and they also came with is this a journal? It's about the size of a DVD. Oh, that 
That's cool. So this is a nice uh, sketch journal or regular journal, depending. And it's also got the symbol of the Viltrumite Empire on it. This one is a lot more graphically um, intense, and you can you can read the the symbol a little bit better. But that's really cool. I would have never thought in a million years to incorporate anything with this symbol on it into you know anything I collect or own. But like now that I have it, I'm like, how did I ever overlook this? So brilliant, so cool. Thank you very much, Karen. I appreciate that. Um, look at the katanas. Oh dear. Oh, for his Deadpool. That's right. Well, that's really cool. Thanks, Karen. That's so generous. You guys, come on. How am I supposed to deal with all this generosity? Uh, I hope, Karen, I also, I hope you liked your dragons. I saw one, uh, ended up on your laptop, but, I mean, you're the only person that's ever gonna really want those drag. I mean, other people may end up wanting them in the future, but... I can't ever see me selling any more of them. So if you ever want more dragons, you're welcome to them. Um, Lexi, welcome. Uh, Mimi, a Loki leather jacket. What? Got a Yeti stuff for my truck to make her pretty. Lots of gift cards, etc. Doctor Strange. That's cool. Doctor Strange shirt. That's nice. Um good harley quinn funko figure um so has santa been good to you this year yeah chris you know this is it this is my this is santa for me this year my mom sent me a nice pair of pajama pants i'm gonna exchange them for a size up but like yeah i i just busted open the crotch of a pair of pajama pants i like to sit uh uh, how do you call it cross-legged where you sit on your butt with your legs crossed in front of you on my couch and I keep ripping open the inseam of my pajama pants, so it was good to have uh, good to have one of those. Yeah, Danielle, if you want a custom—I guess I shouldn't say custom—but a, a Loki hates you designed dragon decal. Uh, I designed one for for Karen. Uh, if you check out Karen's Twitter, you'll see some pictures of where they ended up. I think one ended up on her laptop, so. Uh, you can see a little bit of my art. A little bit of the old art. Okay, last thing we got, I believe, is off the wish list. It's a, it's an envelope. Get that shipping label off of there. Bah. What am I doing? Where's this going? Well, how does this work? Alright, let's use the knife. Although, I didn't get anything. I did get my friends some goods and my sister a hedgehog. Well, they say Christmas is all about the spirit of giving, uh, Andrada. So, maybe you found some fulfillment in the gratitude that came from your friends. Or maybe you'll just be bitter for the rest of your life. That you, you give and you give and you give and you never get anything back. And it'll result in you you know, eventually just striking off on your own and forging a new identity and living a, a, a peaceful life in the mountains of Guadalajara. And, uh, you know, maybe from that point forward, you'll never actually celebrate a Christmas or any other uh, nationally recognized holiday ever again, but you'll start to, to form your own religion with your own holidays. And... Uh, you know, that'll catch on in a small community and slowly become its own cult. And then you'll, you'll make trillions of dollars off of the proceeds and raise a small army and take over a lot of countries based on, uh, your, your beliefs and, and the zealotry that rises from it. And then everything will, uh, culminate into a, uh, extremely violent but memorable death that will go down in the, uh, the history books. So I think that's great, Andrada. <sighs> Let's see, what do we get? Uh, I received a Loki leather jacket from Classy Class Yak and an Android smart TV box. That's cool. Uh, hey, Louisa, you just missed a couple, you missed a couple little uh, package openings, but overall, we're just 
hanging out. That's all we're doing. Um, go on Amazon, punch Loki in jackets. I haven't had a true Christmas in a couple of years, so I'm already kind of there. Uh, Andrada, go, go, go for it. Be all you can be. What did you have as a Christmas dinner? Danielle, I haven't, I've only eaten breakfast so far. I can tell you that for lunch, I'm going to be having a nice chicken sandwich, which is one of my favorite meals to make. And I'm going to be having my, my favorite uh, meal that, or not meal, but my favorite soup that my mom always made. It's just like a tomato broth with noodles and beef. And it's good. And I'm going to have some, it's called meat soup. And I'm going to eat it. Uh, I only ordered, and I also have some chocolate ice cream. So I'll eat that with some raspberries. Shazam. I only ordered the size uh, that you put on the wish list last year. Oh, wait a second. Were those, uh, were the red bubble packages from you, Helen? Or were they from, was it one from Helen and one from Karen? I'm so confused. Uh, oh yeah, Nini, I need to, I need to get, I haven't even looked into that yet. I will look into your truck scepters. I'll get that figured out. Uh, I've missed this humor. I haven't been keeping up lately. It's okay, Lexi, we're happy to have you back. Um... Wow, Luisa got an autograph from Tom. That seems hard to come by. Okay, a gift for you. Seriously, I go to your wish list, and this is the only thing that shows up. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is from Candace. Um, so, Candace, I'm going to tell you something. This may have been the only thing, and you may have been disappointed to buy it for me, but I needed this. I needed this real bad. And it's a beautiful spatula uh, that... I had a great spatula. Someone had sent me a red, um, a red spatula last year, and I used it so much that I actually broke it. Um, it had a kind of metal inner part to it that I, I pressed down on too hard while I was watching washing it, and it snapped. It snapped right at this hinge right here, and so I was looking. I needed a new spatula that has a nice non-meltable. Um, flat part on it so this will be perfect and I'm actually going to use this probably at least by tomorrow morning if not by tonight so thank you Candace. this is totally crucial um I, yeah I've been making a concerted effort to like think of more things that I want to put on the, the wish list I've got everything I need I may start adding some more card gaming stuff because uh I've been working on really putting together my own card game that I want to publish so I may need uh, deck protectors to hold the whatever test cards I print out. And uh, if you want to, you know, if you want to help me launch this card game, that may be one of the best ways to do it, aside from contributing to whatever crowdfunding campaign I launch. There will be either a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe or something along those lines uh, where you can pre-order a game and be involved in the creation of it in one way or another and maybe even get sent a play testable version uh, via internet before it's launched so that you can say hey you know what I really like the mechanic of this and not that so guys keep an eye out for me posting about this card game that I'm trying to create uh, and when it happens please 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 spread the word but uh, you know it's not ready to be launched yet I'm still writing out the the actual descriptions of everything um, let's see. These two from Redbubble are from me. It ain't Christmas without chocolate. Uh, stuff full of turkey, roast potatoes. Hey, Candace, I just opened your thing. Yay! So, so crucial. I'm so sorry that, like, all my stuff... The, here's the thing. If you guys really want to send things from the wish list, like I will load it up with like crazy games that I don't need, but I'll take them. You know, like I will do that. I just feel like a jerk. I pride myself on only putting things on that wish list that I'm really gonna use a lot, and I would hate to put something on there that I'm not absolutely sure I'm gonna use. The I can tell if Brandy was here, which I don't think she is. The Street Fighter. No, that wasn't Brandy. That was Jennifer. Jen sent those. Uh, the DC Comics game and the Street Fighter game, I've played a few times, and they're great. And I look forward to every opportunity I'm going to have to play them in the future. 
Uh, okay, so those are from Karen. So what can you say was the best and worst moments for you in 2016? Best moment. Hmm. I did meet my girlfriend. That was nice in 2016. I gotta tell you, it's a pretty cool situation. Meeting a girlfriend. Hey, girlfriend. I met you. Worst moment. Oof. I think the worst moment for me uh, this year was the realization, the moment I realized that I didn't have a job again. Uh, there was a, there was a short period of time where I thought I was employed, uh, as a social media marketing, um, consultant essentially. And that worked for about a week. I got paid for one week of work and I didn't get paid for the other two weeks of work. And then I realized that I had been hired by a scumbag company and they just basically had silently ghost fired me. And, um, that was awful. That was a shitty time for me. Uh, but you know what? I'm free of that now. So, Uh, we don't need to, we don't need to go into that anymore, but that, that was with the best and worst moments. So best moment, mid South con, um, I think it was that Friday worst moment, whenever it was that I realized I was, I didn't have a job. So you take the good with the bad 2016. Oh, you know what else was a really terrible? Yeah. There was one other really terrible night in 2016, but I think that was a terrible night for the nation. Uh, not just for me. Um, pajama pants last year bought myself oh yeah, yeah yeah the pajama pants are there i think the reason why the pajama pants last year were small was because i put it on the wish list and it doesn't keep the sizing that you put when you put it on a wish list so i set it as medium and then it went on the wish list and reset itself to a small they fit but if i can get a medium it just makes it a little, little less binding to sleep in. The small still works, though. I, I wear them. They're good. Um, the black ones, if that's what you're... No, no, no. The, the pajama pants I got this year were from my mom. They're almost identical to the ones you sent me, Helen. Uh, they're black cotton pajama pants. And they look good. I just got to... I didn't bust those open. Those aren't the ones that got busted open. Those are still uh, in active rotation. I keep about four or five pairs of pajama pants around at all time. They get heavily used. Each one of them lasts about a year and a half. Um, congrats on your autograph. Uh, only seeing my guy three times a year is tough. Would be nice to have got him here for Christmas. Yeah, it travels hard, Carol. I don't know where how far he is from you, but getting somebody into the same city. Uh, saw and met Tom in Philly in June. Right, 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 right. So, guys, what a great haul. I'm so happy that this spatula is here. Like, mm. this, this sketchbook is going to be great because I'm going to have to do about 200 illustrations for, uh, for this card game that's going to be happening. And I may need this for jotting down ideas and sketches and it's got a nice smooth finished paper on there and uh yeah it's good it's a good size too i can really carry it around with me put it in my backpack and not worried about it getting too damaged up Ooh, norwegian Oof. good night danielle but yeah, guys, I wanted to say hi, and I wanted to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Uh, uh, happy Hanukkah. Uh, happy Kwanzaa. Happy Winter Solstice to you. And generally, a happy year. A very happy New Year to everyone. Um, and, oh no, Candace, I know. I know you weren't bitter about what was on the list. Um, so, uh... I hope that you're all having a great holiday season and I hope that you all have a great new year and I hope we don't end up in a nuclear war and that's 
you know, the best we can hope for, I think, right now. <laughs> That's not the best we can hope for. The best we can hope for is unending prosperity and uh, peace on Earth. I think that's also, uh, you know, reasonable. We can we can shoot for that, right? Right. Okay. So it's three thirty, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to Sherry. Thank you to Karen. Thank you to Candace, uh, and to Karen, uh, and to Tessa. Thank you, all of you guys. Oh, and thank you to Marcy for for our opening credit song and for this but before we go miss you love you good night and have